time just thinking about my son laying there bleeding out on the ground and thinking I'm dying here in this alley. A New Albany mother is reeling after learning that her son was stabbed multiple times and is expected to be in the hospital for weeks. This is Wave News at 11. I'm Noelle Friel. It happened Tuesday night after the New Albany Police Department says two people were stabbed on East Market Street, but the mother of one of the victims doesn't believe the whole story is being told. Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer talked to her today and joined me. Yeah, Noelle. Kimmy Poland says her son Christopher Ashley was stabbed 12 times after being invited to his ex-girlfriend's house to talk, but she believes it was a setup to hurt her son and possibly take his life. Just a warning, some of these pictures and videos you're going to see may be hard to watch. It's painful to see him going through that, obviously. Kimmy Poland shares what it's been like to see her son Christopher Ashley in the hospital for the last five nights. She says Chris had just started at a new job and was doing well for himself trying to get his life together when he ran into his ex-girlfriend. And he said that he ran into her at the dollar store and she wanted to meet him. She had something she needed to tell him. And he said, I'm not coming to your house because I know your boyfriend. I don't want any trouble. And she said, come at 8 o'clock tonight. He's not going to be there, I promise. So he went to meet her. But when he arrived, the boyfriend was there. And she says he left and started walking away until he noticed he was being followed. So he prepared for a fight. And he said that the guy punched him in the stomach. And he thought that was strange because when you fight, you know, you go for the face. And he started fighting and they were scrapping on the ground. And my son realized that his intestines were coming out. She said he tried running away but didn't get very far before pain once again shook his whole body. And he said he got about a block away and then he felt something in the back. The guy had chased him down and stabbed him in the back, punctured his lung, and then just came around and just started stabbing him everywhere. 12 stab wounds, a five hour surgery, and hundreds of staples and stitches later, Chris survived, but he has a long road ahead. He would have several months of uh, therapy that he had to go through, physical therapy, because they weren't sure if he'd be able to use his left arm ever again. And as a mother, Poland says it's hard for her to watch her son in misery, laying in a hospital bed, possibly reliving his nightmare over and over again. Every time a, a noise, every time he closes his eyes, he's jumping and uh, as a mom looking at him, all I can think of is he's, he's being stabbed again. He's getting stabbed over and over as soon as he closes his eyes and that is hard. Now. Poland says she wants justice for her son, not just for the person who stabbed him, but for the ex-girlfriend she feels set him up. I'm not okay with it. They're not getting away with it. I refuse to accept anything except the life sentence for the rest of their lives for both of them. Poland says her contact with police has been minimal, but did learn that a suspect has been arrested. We reached out to NAPD to confirm this information, but haven't heard back yet. She says, to her knowledge, the ex-girlfriend has not been taken into custody. Brandon Spencer, Wave News.